It's Cake. And Whimsy. And we are at the Book Barn in Niantic, Connecticut again. Yay! Yay! For their annual 30% off sale, as if their prices weren't ridiculous already. This is a two-week event? Yes. Two-week event. And it's February 2nd, I believe. So maybe if, if this isn't posted by then, Go put next in your year. calendar for next year. <laughs> it, uh, it is an event certainly not to be missed. And... You're going to be in lovely Niantic, Connecticut, so there's a lot of fun things to do while you're down here. And I would say our first impression of this is, holy cow, it's crowded right now. So busy. We're in the second backup parking lot. <laughs> so, let's Let's see. go find some cats. Let's go find some cats, find some books, and, you know, other stuff. Find some trouble. And we've got our animal spotting guide. It has all of the cats listed in it. it. Has all of the other animals like the turtles and the goats. Oh my gosh. Everybody's in here. There we go. We're gonna try to find all the cats anyway. It's a little rainy today, so they might be inside. Look at this little fun thing. <laughs> These are all the little sections that uh, they have here. I think we saw this last time, but I just, I like the idea that something might light up over this way. <laughs> Jess, what, what type of books are we looking for today? Uh, we're looking for drawing how-tos. We're looking for pattern making, uh, textbooks and information. I think you're looking for marketing or business. Possibly some writing stuff as well. And I think that's it. Mission number one, somewhat success. Art, how to paint, art, how to draw, matting and framing how to painting, and more how to painting. So, so by success you mean we found the section it's in? We found the section that uh, we're interested in anyway. Oh no, empty nest syndrome. They're not even by their food dishes. Uh oh, this bodes ill. There it is, the elusive sleeping cat. We have positively identified. We have found Evanroot. We are upstairs in Mystery Haven. Jess? I feel like the cats have been here. <laughs> and someone didn't feed them, did they? <laughs> so we're hoping in the attic area there might be some cats who just want to chill out and get away from the crowds. So we'll see. There's an adult door over here. Is there? <laughs> you can stand up on the side. Oh! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Is there kitty, a kitty. in the oven? <gasps> That's the refrigerator, Dan. Oh. No kitty in the oven. Oh, all Probably right. for the best. <laughs> no kitties. Kitty, are you down here? Meow. <laughs> There's a kitty in here. Meow. What's your name, kitty? I can't find you on the list without a name! Linda! <laughs> gotcha! Trash kitty? Trash kitty? Nope, no trash kitty. Dan, I think we found a clue. We're onto it! <gasps> I think we found the craft section, Jess. Crafts of Ecuador. Ooh, glass houses and how to throw stones. Inside the not so big house, not the tiny house, just the not so big. That was before tiny houses were made, Jess. They were just not, they were no, called not so tiny, not so bigs. I think it's the intermediary size. Is it you really? Get big house, you get tiny house, you have not so big. You just can't put it on a trailer, right? As opposed to, you know. The big ass book of home decor. <laughs> what were you saying about these shelves, Jess? I was just noting that they changed up to the slightly fancier shelves for the interior decoration section. A nice touch of class, right? Ugh. Housework how to? Pass. Hard pass. Alright, what you're looking at here is Are my blinkers showing? Adventures in filmmaking in the new Russia. Now, just think about that for a second and try to imagine what that might actually be about. I am. I'm guessing the adventures of filmmaking in the new Russia. I know, but what about blinkers? I mean, who doesn't wonder if their blinkers are showing? So, we're all set at the main barn, mm -hmm. but I think right now we're heading to chapter three to try to find some of our crafting style books and how-tos. 
fingers so, crossed. Fingers crossed, and hopefully a bathroom. Jazz, don't scare him away. Yeah, it's one of the cats. Be very nice. It's Rosemary, apparently. Ah, all right then. Bonketh not thine head. Watch it, Jess. <laughs> Clock not thyself. So I think we found some of the sections we were looking for here. If we wanted to be a circus performer, these are perfect. And then, public speaking, possibly some comedy, and three whole shelves for Malcolm Gladwell. We're on to store three. Which is actually store two. <laughs> we were just at store three. Right, 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 I, I guess. It's called our the third th chapter. Our third store, which is actually store two, but that way. So in this store, I think we're hoping to find just interesting things. This is where the new age section is. This is where the comic books, some of the audio books are, DVDs, that kind of stuff. Um, we usually find some weird stuff. So this doesn't have a specific purpose, it's just kind of for fun. And no cats at this one. Wow. Rawr. We, that brings our total down perilously low of cats we have found today. Two and a shrew. Two and a shrew. And I'm pretty sure that shrew was just shrew and wasn't a shrew. But we'll see. So first of all, this does not look like it belongs on the Taoism shelf. J.R.R. Tolkien, Beowulf Translation and Commentary. Second of all, I didn't know he did that. The translation, obviously, he yeah. didn't write Beowulf. <laughs> and commentary. Like, he's gonna correct it? I mean, maybe. he's a big language guy, so maybe. We're back! That we are! We survived! Wow! That was way creepier music than I thought the, uh, the trip entailed. <laughs> did you have a different experience well, we than I did? Well, we went to the haunted bookshop at one point. I mean, we did. It, it didn't seem terribly haunted. But, I mean, it had a graveyard outside of it. That's something. Right. There you go. I apologize. And if you'd like to see that graveyard, since it was raining, we didn't get to film outside much. But we gave you a complete tour in our last visit where we showed you all of the little places and fun things and weird things. And the link to that is in the description below. Ooh, there it is right there. So... A bit of a mixed bag today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We we had some success. Let's call this a base mark success for our finding of the cats. Mm -hmm. So, how do we do on that? Two cats, which was better than last time. It was very crowded though, and cold and wet, so I'm sure that they were smart enough to get the heck out of Dodge and find other places to be today. True, true. And a shrew. A shrew, right? So Linda apparently is a honorary uh, cat for the book barn, who's actually a shrew who likes cat food. And I think we, I think we found her inside that sled, right? Mm, inside mm -hmm, inside the, the, the slide, the yeah. tube. Yeah, I mean, she was remarkably uh, conversant. It's Linda. Meow. Wow. You do a good impersonation, right? Why does the shrew give a meow? Are you trying to call me a shrew? Oh, I know you didn't just call me a shrew, you son of a- Let's talk about books. Yeah, that's, that's a much better thing to do. Specifically the ones we picked up today. All right, so we had, do you want to remind them what our mission was? Oh, our mission was pattern making. Drawing. Drawing and... Marketing, public speaking, comedy okay, style that. stuff. Yeah, all right. So let's see. Found a comedy writing book. I keep trying to tell him you can't teach comedy. Comedy writing secrets. Clearly you can. This guy is going to be slipping on a banana peel. Why is he wearing Classic. sunglasses? I don't know, but that's probably why he slipped. Hmm. Is there a... a, a... <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> I feel like you don't. Anyway, fun. And then James A. Caster just happens to be one of the funniest storytellers <laughs> I know. If you like a dry story. I... Okay. It is funny, but... Yes, absolutely. So, I, I got a book that has all of his funniest stories in it because I just think it'd be funny to read. So, we got two books from a very popular artist, Christopher Hart, mm -hmm. on drawing the proportions of the human body and also on drawing that human body in various poses, which we think 
might help us out a little bit basic wise with some of our sketching. And we do have one of his other books, but it's on fashion drawing, not on these. So it works yeah. out well. So it'll go nicely on top of these. <laughs> comes very uh, highly recommended by other artists. By friends who are cartoonists, actually. Let's see. Oh, that one. Hold it up. <laughs> Innovative sewing. Yeah, we'll see how useful it is. It's, uh, I like that it says the newest, best, and fastest sewing techniques. As soon as you, op as soon as I opened it, I was like, is this 1980, huh? 1990. I was close. Right? So, a decade sooner. I think this isn't going to help her learn pattern making or any of that kind of stuff, but once she learns that, it might give her some techniques to do things faster. So Maybe. we'll see what happens. Yeah. It was worth whatever we paid for it. We just I believe we paid like a, a dollar or, two. or something. Yeah. It was, it was ridiculous. I'm sure my book gets thrown on the floor. So did the art ones. Uh -huh. Okay, go on. No, it's fine. Just, just keep going. <laughs> Alright, so in the name of storytelling and some other stuff, we wanted to try to find some obscure myths and, and legends that we could use to uh, kind of reinvent a little bit in our book, right, in our novel writing or our storytelling. And also in our YouTube channel because I may or may mm. not be coming up with a new segment on here in the next couple of months that may or may not involve fairy tales and myths. Tell me all say. about it. Uh, eventually. Oh. Alright then. Just whisper it. No one will hear. That being said, if you have any questions for a Wicked Stepmother for an Ask Me Anything style dealio, oh, put them in the comments. I think I know what your idea might be. <laughs> Golf lessons, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is... that comedy writing book. <laughs> this is Old World, Old Wives Fairy Tale book, and it has a lot of really obscure ones that, that seem kind of interesting, so maybe we can modify things like that. Oh, there was a specific one in there, I oh, think, right. that... I found <laughs> horribly amusing. I think it was on this page. I think it was on the page before. Okay. Ah. There it there is. You go. One of them is called the Fur Burger. I'm dying to know what that could be. Parsley Girl and uh, Mossy Coat. Yeah, I mean, these are ones that I don't recall hearing before, so maybe they'll be interesting enough that we can play around with them and have some fun. I saw Baba Yaga in there. So it looked like Baba Yoga because you were turning the page and I was like, Baba Yoga? Baba Interesting. Yaga is definitely, there's a section in there on famous witches and Baba Yaga is indeed one of them and she's somebody who I've been thinking might fit well into some stuff. I'm feeling like we need a cartoon panel now of Baba Yoga though. Yeah, probably. Do you think it would be the house that does the actual uh, yoga poses or the witch herself? I don't know. So, this is a weird one. It takes some explanation. It is called The Storyteller's Source, Source Book. Book. And, oh yeah. This has no actual stories in it. It's dense. So dense. And it is basically an index of every story known to, I don't know, man since, uh, when was 19, this maybe? 1982. 1982. There you go. Um, and it references them by characters, by themes, by that kind of stuff. My thought by is... subject, title, and motif. So my thought is, I can look up <clears throat> most stories on the internet these days. I don't really need a collection of stories. I need something to tell me there's a story I should be looking up on the internet. This, I think, will do it. And it is a mammoth book that has no other purpose <laughs> than that. So hopefully it works out all right. Listen to this one, Jess. <laughs> I was really careful not to mess smelly with book. the thing. It is a bit Old, of a smelly musty book. book. <laughs> and he keeps smacking it. I am sorry. And this one is just kind of fun for me. This is a book of symbolism from all the different spiritualities and stuff around the world. And it's basically runes and signs and that kind of stuff. But it has a lot of them and they're not all ones that I recognize. And I kind of like symbols and runic stuff. So, picked it up. It was about 50 cents or so. Hard to say no to that. If you're enjoying these videos, uh, please hit subscribe. And maybe we'll learn to wrap them up faster. <gasps> oh, oh, another sick burn. Damn. All right. Well, you know, I know 
I'm gonna go make some cake for myself. <gasps> I don't know what you're gonna do. I'm having avocado bites. But I'm. You gonna... want to know how to make those? Right in the description. Ooh, two. You and I know, two? two. Oh my god. Let's frost, Let's frost the cake. The cake.